Hi honeys, it's your queen bee. I am in a new location. This is gonna be my permanent location, I think. Um, even though my mom is super mad at me for overtaking her little area. Um, this is like the children's area. <laughs> if uh, Believe it or not, there's all these children's books here and I asked if I can move them and she's like, no. So I just kind of put a couple things here and here and just kind of made it my own a little bit. Um, without kind of disrupting her stuff because she would kill me if I moved anything that was hers, which is all of this. But besides that, um, yes, I have a different area. I actually have a different camera and a different little lighting system. And hopefully everything works out fine. Um, so yes, I have another chair over here. So whenever I have guests, it's like actually a thing. So I have gotten a better setup. I've gotten a better just everything else. Hopefully my editing will get better. I don't know if that's like possible, but we'll try. Voice over Mel, probably for the last time for a while. Don't worry about the camera quality in this video. I have actually fixed it. I didn't notice it, but the lens I had on my camera was messing with it. I just thought it would make it look a little bit better. It didn't, but that's fine because I fixed it. And I also fixed a little bit of the lighting and everything. So don't worry, it's not gonna be so fuzzy looking and it's not gonna be like blurry. So I know I look pretty weird, I don't have any makeup on, and I'm in this old Adventure Time shirt that my sister-in-law gave me when I was like a fetus. It's been like since fifth grade I've had this shirt. Um, but yes, I might be going to work later. I have no idea the weather is supposed to be bad. So if it's like really bad, I'm going into work, which is like funny. But um, yeah, so I might have work. That's why I got ready. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. But yeah, so I might have work. And I really didn't have anything else to do. I've just been cleaning, trying to get better and not be sick. I actually feel a lot better than I was feeling like Friday. But I actually was going to make a video um, last week. I just hadn't gotten around to it because of the Ipsy Box video and like other things. I, I really wanted to do a video of like my makeup evolution. Now, if you know me, you know that I've been wearing makeup since like forever. <laughs> Anytime I could get my hands on my mom's makeup, I would just like put it on my face. No matter if it was right or wrong, I just always liked just playing in stuff and just putting stuff on my face. And I'm very surprised that my face isn't more broke out than it is. I actually have a very clear face and I'm very blessed for that. But yes, so something that's like totally not even what I was planning. I was trying to go back through my Instagram and I realized I don't really have a lot of older pictures of me with makeup. And it's because I archived all of them. So I was going through a little bit of them and I felt like I was actually dying. I could not hold a straight face while like screenshotting them. And I was like, instead of like getting pictures and going through them with just my makeup, why don't I go through all of my archived pictures? I, I oh, I'm looking at my old makeup. To give you a little insight of what the makeup is I used to wear, my mom had this foundation. This is the pinnacle of my whole makeup routine when I was younger. And by younger, I mean from like third grade to uh, middle school. <laughs> like the end of middle school is terrible. I don't know why people were like, oh, you go. No, you should have told me it was the wrong thing. Don't do it. But no one did. And I am very surprised. <laughs> like, oh my God, it was awful. So my mom had this foundation and it was at this point when I was in third grade. 30 years old. Now, you would think that my mother would not let me play in this very dirty old foundation, but she can't say no to this face. Um, I literally was begging her, I'm like, please, I know you're throwing out a bunch of makeup, but let me have all of it. So she was like, okay, fine. Now, I am one of those people I have no boundaries. I even asked teachers and um, friends as like, you know, siblings and mothers and like everyone I could ask. I asked cousins. I asked every female I could find because a lot of males don't wear like anything when <laughs> around where I'm at. So there was no point even asking. I asked every woman I could find if I could have their old makeup. Now. This is terrible. I really hope that my children are not like this. And I really hope that you guys are a little bit smarter than this. Um, but if you do it, it's completely fine because all kids do it, it's fine. I just wish that maybe I didn't do it as much as I did. So, I only had one foundation. It was my mother's 30 year old foundation. I don't remember the brand. 
Uh, I can't even find it, but it was in a rectangular bottle, and it was like a squeezy plastic thing, and it had this gray silver like top, and it twisted off. I remember, and that thing lasted forever. Like, oh my god, it felt like it was never ending. And I was like, oh, oh, I, I will never use this all up. I still never used it all up, I just threw it away, I'm like, done. I threw it away back in like, um, 8th grade. <laughs> It's been, oh my god, that thing lasted for 30 years plus. Like, it was crazy. Now, my makeup routine was wash my face with uh, Burt Bees, even though it broke my face out terribly and I always had a rash. And I just thought it was maybe because my face is normally red, then maybe that's just how it's supposed to look and it would make it even more oily than it is now. So I used this all over my face as a face wash. And then I would put on this disgusting, just really old, really orange, not even orange, it was like yellow, really yellow foundation. And I didn't have a sponge, I didn't have a brush, literally just smeared it in with my fingers, just smeared it all over my face, and I was like, perfect. Now, I don't remember the palette that I had either, it was one of my mom's old ones. It had eyeshadow, blush, and a highlighter, I think. Maybe not even highlighter. Um, I don't know because like there was a bunch of stuff missing because like it was already panned and that's part of the reason why my mom's throwing away. I just remember using this god awful bright pink. Just it was like a baby pink, but it was like really really neon kind of. Just just slather that all over, just all over this area. Just like oh, mm, just really pink. Just get it all up in there. Just and I think it did come with a brush because I remember just like oh yeah. Get it, get it in there. And I remember, I didn't have bad acne. I just remember like pimples just popping up just every once in a while. But I would wash my face, so it'd kind of go away. But I would still swell up. I didn't know what was happening. So then, top it off, I had um, this mascara from Maybelline, and it was one of my friend's old mascaras. Oh my god, I can't tell you how many times I got pink eye and how many times I just had allergic reactions. And from that day on, I was like, I will never wear someone else's mascara. Have not yet. Um, so yeah, that was terrible. And then for eyeliner, it was another one of my friend's old products. And I just... Oh boy. I never did a wing until I got to like 8th grade when I tried and it was god awful. I would just slather it, just like, mm, just perfect. If I looked like a raccoon, it was a good day. It was magnificent. One of my friends on my um, on my bus I used to ride when I was little taught me how taught me how to uh, put on eyeliner, and she would use the liquid. I had the pencil, and mm, it was not good at all. So with that in mind, the next thing was eyeshadow, and this is not the particular order that I put it in. It was just like what I'm remembering right off the top of my head. The eyeshadow was in the same palette as the blush, and it was like a really really dark bluish color. And I just remember just smearing that just with my fingers, just, mm, yes, 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 just put it all up here, only, like, only right here. That's where I put it, just was right there, and it was done. I was like, I look hot, I am gonna get all the guys. Oh my god. It was terrible. So then, what was it? I don't think I ever messed with highlighter until high school. Um, I never messed with um, like a bronzer or a contour until high school. Now I did have um, lipstick and oh, oh my god. I think I'm terrible at lipstick now. I was even worse back then because I was just done. If it wasn't like here, like a square, I, it was not good enough. I don't remember why I always did my makeup so weird and wonky and terrible. I was a kid, that's all I can say. I did have a um, little stick, and I think I still have it. I need to throw it away. But it was a Maybelline um, concealer, and I just remember like putting it like literally a right here, and then up here, and then all over my chin. And then I think on my nose too, like not just on the center, but like everywhere. I just remember putting that concealer like half of my face, like all the center of my face. I was like, it's got to be brighter. And it's mostly because I kind of seen that the like the foundation was dark, but I was like, how do I fix that? Concealer. It was terrible. It was god awful and I am just, oh no. Now I never use a setting powder or a setting spray 
um, back then anyways. Again, that was more of an eighth grade thing. Um, mind you, I'm talking about like when I first started out doing makeup in third grade. <laughs> it's terrible. My favorite color to wear on my eyes was blue. Bright, bright blue. I always had bright blue eyeshadow on. And it's because I just, I always seen it in cartoons or like movies. Like people always wore bright blue for some reason. And I was like, yes. And I think that was all the makeup I had when I was younger. Now I did wear face mask, the ones I use, um, I still have one of them. Um, it's not old or anything, I just got it like a couple months ago because I ran out of the other stuff. And it's already like pretty much that much is left. It's the, um, I think it's called Freeman. It's like in the blue and the green like tubes. And I used to get the green one all the time, but I've just been using the blue one because it's like stress relieving and I'm like, I need that because I'm so stressed out. But yes, I just, oh, and I use perfume all the time. The perfume I still have and I still use is Sand and Sable. That is my family's perfume. We all use that and it's like amazing. Now as for hair, I've always parted my hair down the middle. I had bangs at one point. Bangs are terrible. Bangs are ugly. Do not wear bangs. Bangs are disgusting. Now, my bangs now, they are like literally down to like here, and um, that's because I refuse to cut my hair. But I have this little like side swoopy thing, I don't even count this as like bangs because it's like hair, and I push down my face so you can see my forehead. My forehead's not that big, so I've never had like self-conscious feelings about like, oh no, I need to cover it. No. I just had bangs when I was little because my mom was like, oh, let's just try this, and I hated it so much. So I would just naturally part my bangs and clip them with little like uh, hair clips and that is why they grew out so long and that is why I don't have bangs because I just naturally moved them away, moved them out of my face. And I don't think I really ever did anything with my hair, yeah, I never did anything with my hair. Um, I never tried curling or anything until like middle school and I never tried coloring until middle school and that's pretty much it. So with all that being explained, um, Instead of doing my full face of middle school and be uh, middle school and below makeup, we're just gonna go through it because that does more justice than anything else, and it's just terrible. So I'm going to get on to my Instagram, go to my archives, and we're just going to look at this. Now I will blur out people's faces. I will like um, blur out the names and stuff, and other little details because. Um, I don't want like privacy and everything like these are embarrassing pictures and I won't try to show people like other people in the pictures I'll just try to show myself just because again I don't want to like be too invasive because these are very embarrassing pictures and it's not just me it's like <laughs> all my little friends and I don't want them to be like oh my god why would you show that don't worry guys I'm not going to so the first picture is of um, me and my friend I'm gonna blur her out uh, I tried making, we tried making a little combined YouTube channel. This is the thing I always talk about. Uh, that, that face I was making. I always like, I never knew camera angles. I never knew how to take good pictures. And I just regretty spaghetti. So yeah, my YouTube name back then was Fiona Ann. And it was because I was a terribly, terribly obsessed Adventure Time fan. Still am, but not as much. Um, mostly because I've gotten older. <laughs> Um, what to say about this? I loved creepypastas, and I was having a sleepover with my friends, and we were doing our makeup, and I, oh my god, I really loved the creepypasta, um, I think it was Clockwork, right? And then, um, Toby or something like that, and I just thought that they were so cool, and I was like, I want to dress up like that, and oh my god. It was terrible. This is when I was 14, so middle school. And you can see the bright pink blush because I had to have that. And just the blue eyeshadow and the terrible eyeliner. Oh my god. Now, I was thinking for Halloween I might try to like recreate a better version of this look, but I I just don't know. And oh my god, those eyebrows. <laughs> I never did anything with my eyebrows, but like yeah. So then, oh no. And I don't know like <sighs> Terrible angles. I always looked like I had a double chin and I hated it so much. I don't even know what shirt I was wearing in that or what that filter is. Oh my god. It's so disgusting to look at. Unattractive. I was at school and I think I had, um, I don't know what had happened. I know I'm wearing eyeshadow 
And I think I'm wearing eyeliner. Oh my god. Why? Why did my mom let me walk out of the house like this? So here's one. It looks like I have a mustache. I would wear, like, schoolgirl outfits to school all the time because I thought it was, like, sexy and cute. It's not. Don't ever do it. I, I'd also wear ties a lot because I was, like, breaking social norms. Um, no. No, 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 no. Hate it. And, oh my god. The eyeliner is what's killing me. I'm gonna throw up. So here's another one of me and an ex-friend and... Why? Why do I do this to myself? Again, one of me. Why did I post pictures of me just being stupid? Like, ew. That was when I was 15. Another one when I was 15. Oh my god, you can really see the eyeliner, how it's like so smudged. Disgusting. So then I also made, and I still have this because I'm very proud of it, I made a FNAF thing, and um, oh my god. I still wear my FNAF jacket because I really like it. And this only took me a day to make, honestly. There we go. I was so proud of that. And here's me on New Year's because I was, I didn't have very many friends um, that I liked having over to my house because I don't like having people to my house. Um, so yeah, just me on New Year's with my FNAF mask, another one of me and my FNAF thing. I do work at a comic book store and I do have this shirt on and I, this is actually the first time I've worn this shirt since um, probably this day in 2016 and I still have that mask I think I gave that Superman hat to my nephew or something I don't know I don't know why my boss lets me buy dumb things he he just someone should stop me uh, I remember going on Omega a lot and like trying to scare people and as soon as they seen my face they were like nope not worth it oh my god <laughs> I, I hate this here's another one of me was this 2016 yeah so I think this was freshman year no Star Wars was it sophomore year this was sophomore year and um oh my god my arms I shave my arms now um because in high school and be all <laughs> So, because in high school and below, everyone was like, why don't you shave your arms? Literally the day before uh, graduation, I shaved and waxed my arms and, like, everything else. Because I was like, y'all don't get to see this, alright? Because we're going to have to be wearing those, like, long sleeve shirts and all that for uh, graduation. I was like, I don't want you guys to have the pleasure of seeing my fresh arms. So, that was, like, a running thing. And my arms are so fat in this picture. And my hair. Oh, the peanut butter hair. It's terrible. I literally dyed my hair because my ex said that he would leave me if I ever dyed my hair. And I was like, big bet, and he didn't, and I was sad. I'm talking about my um, abusive ex, not my moronic ex. I miss my little snakey. I had a snake named Booper Snoot. I named him Jake for the um, Instagram I had for him. It looks like I'm strangling him. I wasn't. Um, but that eyeliner, though, no, no, no. Okay, so here's when my makeup started getting a little bit better. Um, I dress up as a reindeer, still look terrible, but I don't think I started, I think I stopped wearing that bright pink blush. And then 2017, I was like, new year, new me, I'm going to start looking better because I'm tired of being ugly. And um, I finally figured out how to put my hair back and I haven't worn it back ever since high school. I literally never do my hair like that anymore. On, I really feel like after basic training, like trying to like find myself, I figured out everything I needed to. I started dropping people, I started like telling my ex like, hey, you better step up your game, otherwise we're done. So this is one of the first pictures I have up here and of course I'll blur everyone's face. That eyeliner, everything smudged, everything was black, I remember that concert and my whole face was just like, I look like a raccoon from here, it was like terrible. Am I bashing myself? No. Am I bullying myself? No. Am I like lowering anything about me? No. I'm just saying that as a kid, y'all make mistakes, I made a lot of mistakes, I've made several mistakes, and my looks have gotten better with the um, amount of time that's passed and the situations I've been in. So yes, you do not need makeup to feel better, I go to work just like this but with my hair in a ponytail, and um, yeah, and I'm even wearing this shirt that my boss probably hasn't seen since 2016. He'll be like, oh you still have that? It'll be a conversation piece. So yes, I really don't care what people think, um, 
the reason I archived most of those pictures is because I was like, I just, other people in there that I don't like anymore, um, you know, stuff like that, uh, bad moments, bad memories, I was depressed in, like, a lot of those pictures, and the ones that don't give me good vibes, I kind of, like, archive, so if that makes any sense. So yeah, this video is probably going to be pretty long, but I'll try to cut it down to like 20 minutes if that's possible. I don't know. So without making this video too long, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it was fun, educational, entertaining, and enjoyable. And hopefully you guys like my new setup. I mean, it's pretty nice. The only thing is there's like this little heater down here that keeps like buzzing, but I hopefully you guys can't hear it. I don't know. It's like, eh. But uh, I did a sound test and you can't really hear it, but hopefully you still can't hear it. I have no idea. But yes, hopefully you guys liked this video. Hopefully it was fun and hopefully it wasn't like um, too downing or like anything like that. That's not what this was supposed to be about. It was just supposed to be something fun. And I know I don't normally like, you know, make videos on the weekends, but I don't know if I'm going to work. I got ready and I was like, oh, well, I was going to wear this shirt anyways for another video. So might as well make that video. So yes, I um, will be here permanently in this little location. I'll probably get more little things, mostly um, plants, <laughs> more plant things, just so that my mom's like, uh, cool, you can keep this stuff here. Um, yes. So hopefully you guys like this video. I can't stress that enough because it's something different and I'm trying stuff that I don't normally do. Um, more like a reaction type of thing. I'm terrible at reactions, I know. I'm just like, oh, <laughs> yeah, I know, I suck. But that's fine. So make sure to give this video a like if you did. Make sure to subscribe. Comment down below. Um, do you wear makeup? And what was your high point and what was your low point? I think that this is my high point because I've gotten so much better. Um, and I mean, I'm just more confident. And that's really key to taking pictures is just be like, yeah, I can smile on camera and not look like I'm dying. Um, and also angles because even though I'm still pretty, like, chunky, it's like pretty smooth um yeah so what else to say make sure to follow all the stuff in the description below follow all my social medias and check out all the description stuff i always link little discounts and stuff down there um just in case you guys didn't know i know i don't normally read people's descriptions just because like why but yeah also make sure to share this video so that i can gain a little bit more popularity and i mean that's really pretty much it so with all that being said Thanks for stopping by. Love you.